Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building a four motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and four Nissan Leafs. And this is episode 39. Sponsored by a wonderful Patreon patrons team. Thank you very much guys for your help and also for your patience because we had to have a necessary break. If you would like to purchase the t-shirts, of course there is the link down below. In a few days I have to leave for UK and all the parts that I want to sell must go with me. So don't waste any time, we have to jump on it as quick as possible. But of course we have to wash it first because the pictures on eBay must be very shiny. Almost like new, not really. Okay, let's start working on it finally. Hi. So before we touch this car, I will tell you something about it. This is obviously Nissan Leaf fully electric car. This is 19... <laughs> this is 2013 year. And the most important thing uh, is probably the state of battery. You can see that, uh, is it on this bar? All the way on the on the right, it is two, four, six, eight, ten. It says eleven bars. The maximum when the battery is new has twelve bars, and it has only thirty-one thousand miles over here. This is the most important thing. I picked this model mostly because it was cheaper. It's cheaper than newer newer years, but uh, the motor and uh, the inverter are separate since 2014 the motor the inverter and the charger is one compact box and uh, it wouldn't fit my purpose so that's why i have this here we got some parts here probably some shop took the headlights off to inspect the damage This one looks good. I don't see anything broken. I can get some money for this one. This is another one. We got some cracks over here. I'm not sure what I can do with this. Probably nothing. And what else do we have here? The first thing we will do, we will remove the battery. And I think I will use the ramps from the trailer for the front axles. We'll get it higher. And then I will use the hydraulic jack to lift up the back of the car. Stop! I can see I can't do it because I have to get rid of the front. Obviously, it's too low. We'll take off this plate so I can actually get on the ramps.
also try to remove this part of on the bottom. And it's out. So you can see the radiator damage over here. So we got it in the air, at least the, the front, to make enough clearance to remove the battery. Hopefully we, will have, we have enough. Now we will lift up the bag with the hydraulic jack, but I just want to secure it to the top trap. It will not move this. <laughs> I guarantee you. What is our clearance? It's about 45 centimeters in front. Almost 50. And here, 45. <coughs> the battery is highest at the back. So we will lift up the back a little bit more and then we'll be fine, I think. So we got roughly 50 centimeters. It should be enough to drop the battery down, plus the space for the, for the pallet. Let's take a look under the knees. Over here, here is the guard. It's from plastic and underneath is directly the battery. That's where we are going to. I have some strange feeling to go under that. I don't really want to go under that. <laughs> you want to do it for me? So, the correct procedure is to disconnect the auxiliary battery first. Obviously, this one is dead. So, we are going to disconnect this Tatra battery here. Okay. We are still safe. If you don't know that, that battery has about 380 volts. So if you touch anything, you are fried. Now we have to do the safety disconnect or whatever it's called. It's on the top of the battery and your access is there from here. So we need to get there inside that. So we have to disconnect these three bolts. And there is the quick disconnect which disabled the battery. So, what is inside? <coughs> it's orange and it has the reason why it's orange. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wear a glove, so you never know. Uh, and wash my hands. Okay, we are going to use the lovely glove because of the procedures, everything must be correct. We wanna, we wanna survive today. Okay, if I remember that correctly, I need to push this button and pull this green up and pull it out. And now the battery is disconnected and it should be safe now to work on it. Ah. 
Okay, we'll take off the front part of the guard. That reminds me Tatra. <laughs> Broken bolts. <laughs> it shouldn't be rusty like this. It's just few years old. Okay, look at the beauty. <coughs> Over here, obviously, it's uh, it's the main main two cables where the, all the power goes, and this is BMS battery management battery management system uh, wiring. But I was looking for another one for the cooling somehow it's not here okay let's do the another cover we got it out wow oh, it looks nice and the last Last cover. Ach, tak, tak už to je jednoduše zatlačit ten prostřední a krásně to vytáhnout bez no, problém. It's beautiful, look at that. We got some ground connections over here between batteries and body of the vehicle. They must go. And some on the back. And now we'll disconnect the main cable. I have some strange feeling, even with this glove. And BMS cable. <coughs> really? Uh -huh. And now finally, I have quarter of ton of battery just above me. So let's unscrew the bolts. <laughs> <laughs> Just few of them right now, okay? So these two in front, two of them on the back, and then I will put the pallet jack under that and we will do the sides. Okay, front and back are done. Now we will do the sides and we will drop the battery out of the vehicle. We got three bolts on each side. So I will take the middle one and put the pallet under it. I need to get as close as I can without damaging the car. So hopefully it will be fine. The most of the weight is on the back. So it, uh, it reacts that way, so I have to help myself with this. Wow, it 
looks good, doesn't it? Wow, we got it on the floor. That's awesome. Wow, we got it out. This is the most difficult part of, uh, of the work. I've never done that before. It's out. <laughs> I'm really happy. Perfect, now it can rest in peace. So we got the battery stored, I just tape all those outlets because we don't want any mess to get there. So this is how Nissan Leaf looks without the battery. And now we'll put the Nissan Leaf on the ground again. Yeah, we got it down and now the front. Unfortunately, it doesn't move anymore. So, let's continue. We are too close. If I drop it down, I will rip off probably the charger. on the ground I can move it wherever I want however we are going. that's perfect <sighs> we got the battery out of course that that's not for sale don't even ask now we will probably start removing the doors uh, they are for sale so let's take, let's try to take off this mirror. I have no idea how the wiring is inside. So we'll see. There should be only clips here. <laughs> Camera woman is sitting on the, on the driver's seat. I have to work here. So how do you think it, it is done? Can I remove the wiring? Is there the connector inside? What do you think? So no connector here so far. Ah, finally. It always looks easy on internet. Voila. 
爽啊！耶！ Awesome! <laughs> we are getting somewhere. We have a mirror. I'm looking for a main harness connector. I believe that connector should be here somewhere. I don't think so. This will be all one piece. Yay, yeah, super! No, here is one connector, here is no connector here, <coughs> anywhere. So I think I, ha I will have to pull out all of this, pull out through the door and out, then I can remove the door. I'm not sure if there is a connector, it might be. If this is a connector, that's the worst place you can possibly put it. I think there is a connector over here. I think so. But I can't open it because the door is in the way. This is so stupid. I thought the Tatra is frustrating. It seems like there is a connector over here. I don't want to destroy the harnesses by cutting that. And I don't really wanna disconnect million things over here. So I think there is a connector over here, but I can't open it connector because the door is in the way. This is so stupid, look at that. See, this is opening the connector probably. I will be able to pull it out. If I will be able to fully open this one and the door is in the way, what the hell? Wow! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! <laughs> How long time we have been doing this? 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Unbelievable! Oh, camera woman! found out if I, when I close the door a little bit, there is more room, this lever to be opened. You cannot open it this way, but if you do that this, you can open it. I almost destroyed the whole harness, uh, harness cables. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I will take, uh, I, will, I will hold the camera uh, and camera woman will do this job. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> Respect for camera woman. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> that was painful. Second side before I forget it. Piece of cake, like I have done that for all my life. Now you have to close the door a little bit. Come, come. You have to close the door to be able to open it. Look at that. Now you can open it. Oh, wow. <coughs> and now I can still close it, maybe. Right now. Hallelujah! That's genius, really genius. Okay, second one is out.
Number two done. There is no connector over there. So we will see what surprise is waiting for us over here. There is no connector there. So we might spend some time over here to figure it out. They hold there because they are glued. I have to pry it to get that, and now I have to do weight on me. Okay, next side. No, na to jsme nepomysleli, viď? Bez baterie už konec. Bez baterie neotevřeš vůbec. Podle mě ne. No. can't open the fifth door because it's electric <laughs> let's try something I don't think so it will work but let's try a miracle I opened the door. <laughs> Unbelievable. The main battery is out. I just connected the auxiliary one. And I opened the door. Uh, wow, look at that. A lot of a lot of vast masts. <clears throat> that was big surprise. So where is the connector? Over here or over here? <laughs> so this connector must be here. Only what comes here, goes here, is this hose for the <coughs> washer. Ah, that's all. Okay, I think we got it free. Why didn't, why did I disconnect this? And this is only the hose. That's all. On it, now only the mechanical stuff.
Ja wiem. And that's all for today. If you like this video, please consider to become our Patreon and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode because we are going to continue on this one. Thanks for watching and see you on Tuesday.